students so uh, today we will uh, discuss this is uh, for standard 6 and uh, this is chapter 8 of geography weather and climate of india okay weather and climate of india so first uh, we will discuss a multiple choice question uh, from your textbook so let's uh, start from the textbook <coughs> So this is the answer key of, uh, of multiple choice question here you can see so uh, i'll read one by one question and with answer okay first question is the heaviest rainfall in the world occurs at das so first is cherapunji mausanam meghalaya kerala so option b mausanam so then question number two hot dry and dust laden wind blows in north india in the month of may and june is called lu mango sour kalabaisaki all of the above so this is option a lu then come to the question number three <clears throat> So question number three is the word monsoon has been derived from the word dash. So monsoon option A monsoon Malayalam so Mausumi uh, Arvik uh, C season and D both A and B. So option B Mausum in Arabic. Then come to the question number four. four. Mango sours are experienced in this state. So first is Kerala, B Assam, C Karnataka, and D Uttar Pradesh. So option C, this is Karnataka. So B, write T for true and F for false statement. So India remains almost dry in winter. True or false? This is true. Southwest monsoon winds blow after winter. This is false. Sun facing slopes are also windward slopes. False. Seasons of advancing monsoon is from January to July. This is also false. So next is very short answer type question. So now we will discuss. <clears throat> very short answer type question so first question is what is meant by the term monsoon so the term monsoon has been derived from arabic word moushim which means the season the whole of india is characterized by distinct seasons then question number two so what is meant by climate the average weather conditions at a place over a long period of time about three decades is referred to as climate then number three question number three explain what is meant by the term cycle of season Ar aravalis aravalis cannot check the flow of winds coming from the arabian sea because they uh, lie parallel to the direction of the southwest monsoon wind then next question number four what are the chief characteristic of temperature in summer give examples neither to hot nor to cold climate prevails near the coastal region and is influenced by maritime conditions is called equilibrium cli climate equilibrium climate the next question number d <clears throat> so first question is short answer type question so how do the himalaya act as a climatic barrier so himalayas act as a climatic barrier because it restricts the dry and cold uh, the dry and cold polar winds to blow over india in the absence of himalayas india would have turned into a cold deserts then number two is 
how does the temperature vary from place to place in india on the basis of the distance from the sea temperature of the place varies according to its distance from the sea the place nearer to the sea such as coastal areas and peninsular india are fast to receive the monsoon winds so these places enjoy equitable climate place away from uh, water bodies such as central india generally has a tropical climate climate of himalayan regions are temper temperate in nature whereas the whole of the indian de uh, descent remains very hot the next question number 3 So explain what is the meant by the term cycle of season. This is the condition a continuous cycle of seasons so that is winter, summer, rainy and autumn. A single complete uh, a, a exception of periodically repeated season is known as a cycle of seasons. Then next question number 4. So what are the chief characteristic of temperature in summer give examples so chief characteristic of temperature in summer seasons are first is it is generally marked by the shifting of heat from the south to north second hot dry and dust laden winds blows over the plains so temperature goes on increasing So the next question is long answer type question so first question is name four distinct seasons and describe them in brief so four distinct seasons and their description so the cold weather season the cold weather season or weather begins in mid november in north india and continues till february temperature remain quite low january is usually the coldest month when uh, when day temperature sometimes uh, drop to below 10 degree celsius in several parts of the country during winter the winter is generally pleasant with clear sky low temperature how low humidity humidity and cool breeze cyclone cause precipitation over northwest india these uh, depression are known as western disturbance so then second point is so the hot weather season weather starts changing uh, and the temperature start rising during february march in midday day temperature uh, temperature may touch 41 degree celsius to 42 degree celsius in many parts of the country especially in the northwest plains and central india in the larger parts of the ganga plains uh, the hot and dry winds called lu are common during this season this is a hot weather season for india which extends over march to may then point number 3 kadai so seasons of advancing monsoon so intense heating of the land during april may causes the formation of low pressure area uh, over northwest india winds flow as southwest monsoon this is the season of advancing monsoon the arabian sea uh, branch arrives at the west coast of the india and moves northward the bay of bengal branch strikes the bengal coast and the southern face of a silong plateau it is called monsoon season then next four point the season of returning monsoon the southwest monsoon brings a to treat from northern india by the second week of september retreat of the monsoon means weakening of the monsoon current it withdraw from the punjab plains in mid september and ganga delta by mid october tamil nadu coast receives most of its rainfall during this time that is october to december then 
सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन वेदर एंड क्लाइमेट विच ऑफ द टू डू यू थिंक इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट सो दिस इज वेदर एंड दिस इज क्लाइमेट सो फास्ट पॉइंट ऑफ वेदर इज आवर टू आवर और डे टू डे एटमोस्फियरी कंडीशंस सो क्लाइमेट इज लॉन्ग टर्म एवरेज वेदर कंडीशन the next two point is expressed generally by instant temperature and uh, precipitation then uh, number 2 expressed generally by an average or mean of temperature and precipitation of a month or year then next is in everyday life terms such as sunny windy cloudy rainy are used to express it then uh, third point is in every everyday life terms such as hot seasons cold seasons rainy seasons humid are used the fourth point of weather weather conditions have a marginal effect on social economic and cultural activities or even growth of crops so climate is it plays a major role in economic social and cultural life of the people it determines growing seasons and the types of crops so next both are equally important to but climate is considered more important because it influences the pattern of life culture tradition or even agricultural facilities of the region then come to the question number 3 so question number 3 is what are the main features of equalable and extreme climates equalable climate or extreme climate first point is so it means not very or fluctuating weather conditions so it means extreme climate first point so it means having high degree of differences so then second point there is a very low difference between day and night temperature there is large difference between the day and the night temperature so it prevails near sea coast so it prevails in the near, uh, interior of the continents so summers are not much hot and winds are mild so summers are hot and winds are uh, winters are very cold an example mumbai chennai kolkata so example of extreme climate le delhi and lucknow then last question question number 4 why does sw monsoon bring maximum rainfall in india so question number 4 monsoon season which continues from june to september is also called southwest monsoon season so it is a season of advancing monsoon it is all it is so called because means advance from the kerala coast to northern plains in phased manner it begins in kerala around 5th june and takes about month to reach northwestern part of the northern plains on account of low pressure in the northern plains winds move from south to north the triangular shape of the peninsular india divides the monsoon winds into two branches the arvian sea branch and the bay of bengal branch these two branches of the south india southwest monsoon caused rainfall in all over the india so that's it the end so Uh, subscribe share and like for next video thank you